A super eruption at Yellowstone volcano is not the biggest concern. This is what an expert explains. Max Gorbachev Sputnik reports. The 3,472 square mile park known for its wildlife and geothermal features located in the Western United States. The park sits on a super volcano of the Yellowstone caldera, which last erupted 630,000 years ago. Experts say that if there is another super eruption, it could kill up to 100,000 people, changing the planet's climate as well. A super eruption at Yellowstone is not the biggest concern for humanity. This is what volcano expert Clive Oppenheimer said. According to him, people should not be worried about the Yellowstone caldera super erupting. It's unlikely it will erupt in the near future. He said, the one eruption that people get excited about and keen on is a chance of a colossal eruption, what we call a super eruption, but it's a very rare event. Please support my Patreon channel since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. My Patreon channel will have five different videos from my YouTube channel every day. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. He explains the probability of that is exceedingly low, probably less than one in a million per year. Oppenheimer noted people should worry more about other things which volcanoes may cause. Magma under the Earth's surface proceeds heat, produces heat and volcanic gases that power the park's famous hot springs and geysers, and the expert believes that steam explosions are more likely to occur. Now, the thing is that we know that Yellowstone is one of the 20-plus supervolcanoes of the Earth, and it has a huge magma reservoir under the magma chamber. It also has 60% of the world's geysers and over 10,000 hydrothermal areas. 10,000. Now, uh, he says, we know all about the famous geysers there, and occasionally when that water flashes to steam, more violently it can blast out rock and make a crater several tens or hundreds of feet across, hundreds of yards across. Yellowstone National Park, as we know, sits on one of the most seismically active areas in the United States, with approximately 3,000 earthquakes there every year, but most of them are not felt. U.S. Geological Survey is monitoring the parks of volcanoes since 2001, that was basically after a BBC production of how dangerous Yellowstone could be. Now, experts say that a super eruption will be preceded by earthquakes, ground uplift, and unusual volcanic activity. But Oppenheimer uh, says that there is not enough data to predict when exactly it will occur. Now, how dangerous is Yellowstone caldera? Well, we don't know. Basically, we don't know how super uh, volcanoes act because we haven't had a super eruption thank goodness the last one we had was uh, in taupo in the north island of new zealand and that was an almost extinction level event for humans anthropologists believe that only two thousand couples of humans were left after that eruption because of the tremendous amount of ash and disaster that took place now how dangerous is yellowstone caldera over its history, it had three major eruptions, last one being about 630,000 years ago. And each time the volcano transformed the landscape around it with hundreds of feet of ash covering up. Dr. Jerzy Zaba, geologist from the University of Silesia in Poland, said that should a super eruption occur, it will destroy most of the United States as we know it, and not only the United States, but also the world. There's no way to prevent it, the expert said, and he noted that the only way to save animals and people would be to evacuate them. Despite frequent seismic activity, scientists say chances are slim that the supervolcano will speak again in the near future. So near future, okay, but uh, even if it happens in 10,000 or 100,000 years, uh, we still don't have the technology to protect the Earth from this. Now we know that supervolcanoes take place about every uh, 17 to 20,000 years uh, or so. And uh, supervolcanoes 
have a VEI of uh, over eight, the largest recorded value on the index. It means that the volume of deposits for an eruption is greater than 1,000 cubic kilometers or 240 cubic miles. Now, we know that uh, we just had a 3.9 earthquake shaking California's Long Valley Caldera today, 3.9, the shallow earthquake, but it did shake the uh, supervolcano of Long Valley Caldera, and uh, that was a supervolcanic explosion 760,000 years ago. Now, the supervolcanoes occur when magma in the mantle rises into the crust, but is unable to break it through, and pressure builds up in the large growing magma pool until the crust is unable to contain the pressure. This can occur at hot spots, for example, Yellowstone, or at subduction zones, Toba, for example. Large volcanic, supervolcanic eruptions are also often associated with large igneous provinces, which can cover up huge areas with lava and volcanic ash, and these can cause long-lasting climate change, such as the triggering of an ice age and threatening species with extinction. The Uruanui eruption of New Zealand's Tapo volcano happened about 26 and a half thousand years ago. That was the world's uh, uh, most recent VEI-8 eruption, okay, 26 and a half thousand years ago. Large igneous provinces, we have over Siberia and Russia, China, uh, North America, uh, even, they're all over the place, basically. Now, the massive explosions, we had Wawa Springs in Utah, United States. That was about uh, 30.6 million years ago. And the last one that we said uh, was 26 and a half thousand years ago, Tapo Volcano, North Island of New Zealand. So, uh, we don't know, because humanity has never undergone, thank goodness, a super explosion, super um, volcanic explosion. And uh, there are those that claim that they want to cool down Yellowstone so that uh, Yellowstone doesn't have a very high risk of explosion, exploding. But, you know, Mike Poland, the geologist who's, uh, in charge of Yellowstone, says as long as he's there, he doesn't want anyone to touch Yellowstone because they can bring forth what they are trying to avoid. So this is on Wikipedia. I'll leave a link below for you for the supervolcanoes details if you'd like, and also on Sputnik News. Thank you for your support.